Who doesn't love a little puzzle in the morning? I know I do, and so I'm gonna do it. <laughs> My intros and outros are the worst in the business. This is Sizable by Sander Ambrose. Ambrose, I hope I'm saying that correctly. Uh, let's give it a shot. It looked very, very cool from what I saw. So I'm gonna leap right into the dang thing. I'm rotating with right click. Click to pick up and scroll to resize. Interesting, okay. So how do I click it? Oh, okay. Oh. So I made it big and it connected to that power thing. Um, what if I do that? Oh, and I can move stuff as well, I see. Okay, big one goes on there. Oh, that's... <laughs> and middle one goes on there. Hey, look at this. This is great. Um, okay, I guess I'm probably gonna want this. Oh, it's like a power. Oh, so it's gonna go like here. And then this one, I make it bigger and put it here. Puzzle. It looks like I need to get... Okay, so it's it's all about... F I, I assume then the, the win, win condition is to find uh, the, pu the little power things to put on the corners and then you can open it up and move on. So what can we mess with here? Let's let's make it a teeny tiny lighthouse. Let's make it a teeny tiny tree. <laughs> really big. Uh, oh, I can just move things like off the map. That's interesting too. Oh, hey. Oh, these are, oh, I see, okay. And I can get the pearl. That doesn't really do anything for me. What could I do with a big shining pearl? I've got some pearls, I've got some trees. Let's put the lighthouse and the trees back up to where they belong. Uh, I assume if I shrink the moon, maybe the... Wa oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say the tide goes out, I guess, as the moon gets smaller farther away. That's very, very neat. Oh, and I can shrink the boat right out of the way. And, okay, we've got a battery, which I know where that's going to go, but I want to look at... <laughs> That's very, very cute. <laughs> that's endless joy to just have all of those in there. Okay, so that's one of these things. Uh, this, I'm assuming, is going to go on here. And, okay, I gotta move all these chests out of the way. I like that so much. Uh, okay, so I'm going to bring the water back for that boat. Yep, and it's got another one of those of our power things on top of it there. So now what? Oh, so it's kind of got three like conditions here, I guess. So it's saying access the boat, act, like turn on the lighthouse, and then something to do with the pearls. So maybe it's just that, oh, okay, yeah, that's it. All I had to do was find that one. That's super cool. So not everything is manipulatable. Like I can't make this boat small, but I can affect it. I can make it, I guess, small, medium, and big, depending on the water level, but independently, I can't uh, shrink or grow it. It's just fun to manipulate the sizes of things, and, and like, look at all this. I mean, compare it to where I started, right, and look at all these things I've got now. Like, it's a very, very neat sort of the things that you start with, and then the things that you discover as the level goes on. So we've got a cat, a pyramid, and an eye that we're going to try and figure out here. Clearly, we start by making all the cactuses as big as we can make them. Maybe I can do tiny cacti? Oh, okay. Oh, so as the... Interesting. Uh, let's make this really big though, because the wind is clearing some stuff. So we got one out of doing the wind here. So now we have these blocks. Um, oh, oh, whoa, weird. Okay, so cat, oh wait, is it saying cat pyramid eye? <laughs> hey, okay, that's two. Now we need to do something with the scarabs here. Oh, this can get bigger. Oh, and I can actually move it as well. Putting it on here. It's not appear to be that. Is it just matching these two together, like next to each other? Or matching their positions, perhaps? Kinda. What would we do? Oh, we just put it there. <laughs> I think when you use, you're using these white outlines for everything, for both like in-game puzzle clues like this, right? It being the same white outline as like these power things here, it, it sort of had them blur into the background for me. Like this scarab piece here, I didn't even really think to put something there. I guess I was associating the white outlines with 
uh, the final pieces you need uh, to complete the level, so to speak. Also, I'm seeing that they're different shapes, so I mean, maybe I just need to look at the shapes and be better. <laughs> Taking that knowledge, though, so now we know that these are like interactive uh, shapes, right? So they're different than the goal shapes. So what we can change here so far is we have control over the flowers and the trees. I think I may have just shrunk that bird. Oh, I can make the sun sm Oh, that is so, so, so cool. That is really, really, really cool. Oh, and that one just, why does that one go? Oh, it didn't, because in autumn it goes down. That's, I'm like, I, I'm enjoying this so much that I kind of just want to go slower with it because I'm scared it's going to end. Um, okay, so what's the other thing I'm looking for? A snowman. So, presumably I want to make it... Oh, and I can build the snowman. I already see it. Ugh. I want to keep messing with stuff. Now what do we do with the snowman? Put him on here. Make him really big. Make him really small. What happens if I change the... Oh, I melt. Oh. <laughs> This is just too adorable. I'm gonna put the hat on this piece, on this one. And let's make this big and let's, sadly, let's move on. I, I know, I don't want this to end. This is so, so good. Like, toucan, snake, and pyramid. Um, so, I assume, yeah, the toucan we probably have to chase out of the trees. Yeah. Sorry, toucan, but... I'll make your trees big for you again. Maybe that'll maybe the toucan will come back. Okay, snake. Um, what would snake want? It, oh, it's interesting to me that these pieces are gold. Oh, so you know what I'm thinking. So we know again. We know the hexagons mean it's like a puzzle thing. So let's try putting that there. And maybe let's try putting the snake on top of the. Is it just as simple as placing the snake there? Oh, it is that simple, okay. I thought, I really thought this would have something to do with it because it's like the other manipulatable, manipulatable gold thing. Okay, so we've got this ball that we cannot manipulate. I assume unless we grow and shrink these guys, but what am I trying to do with that ball? What do I want to do with it? Let's just try... I mean, anyone that can't. Nobody can push it. Nobody can reach it. Oh, wait. Oh my heavens. Okay, this is really interesting. So I'm growing these to get that closer. Now he's got it. What does that mean? What does him having it mean? This is lit up. Something else needs to light up, perhaps? This is great, because I, I love that this is harder, because I was really, really worried that I was going to finish this too quickly. But now, I'm wondering if I need to reset. Let's try resetting, just to see what happens exactly. So we know speedrun, we can chase away the toucan. Then we also know we can take the bird, the snake and put it there. Oh, wait. Hold on. That is incredible. Come on up, pup. My puppy's gonna join me for this early morning puzzle solve. So the size of the snake changes how many layers are open. So I just need to have the snake, the snake's mouth each one. So that's, yeah, so that's the first layer. I don't know how I didn't notice that before. So I'm trying to push it to be on the same plane and then yeah, eat it up. That is amazing. This is so good. I cannot stress enough how good this game is. <laughs> that's so, so, so good. So that's the snake one. Oh, and then I can put the snake in here. And it lifts up the whole thing, oh my god. And then I just need to put this here to match uh, this one. That's fantastic. That's so good. I. I am enamored by this game. What an incredible little... Oh, that's it? Oh, that kills me. Yeah, so here, let me move so you can see the contact info and stuff. So yeah, it's just a, uh, I believe it's just like a demo here. 
it's an early access demo thing. It's not meant to be the entire game, but what it just absolutely delightful. What's what's the harm? I absolutely recommend that you jump on and play this. Every little like motion thing is just so fun and like it, I mean just stuff like this. Like how can you how can you argue with something like this? Just <laughs> I feel like I just keep using the word wonderful, but that's truly what it conveys to me. Like it is such a a lovely little thing. It's, it's, I could play 200 levels of this. It's just so good. The tactical nature of it, just the spinning the mouse wheel and having things grow and shrink, it just feels great. I can't recommend this enough. I, I think you should download it and just give it, a, like, I mean, I guess you know how to solve all the puzzles now if you watch this video, but also it's just like, I can't convey in words, I think how good it just feels. This is, I think this is my favorite level, which is why I'm happy to be back in it here. And I want to close out on this because I just think this is such a gorgeous expression of what this game really is um, to me. And I hope to see this game come out in like a full version. I, I want, I will buy this game in, in two seconds. I post every other day. So if you enjoyed this, you can come back not tomorrow, but the day after that. Uh, and we'll have a new fun video for you to check out. So I hope to see you then, but until then, I'll say goodbye for now. Another world famous outro. <laughs>